So there's a lot going on with this Cardi B situation, wishing that she was dead and quickly deleting the tweet. I have seen this happen uh, a lot of times with big celebrities. The fame is too much. The pressure of social media today would make a lot of people tweet that ex those exact same words because of social media. People just letting you have it, saying stuff that they don't don't care about have no respect for you and also cardi b um is looked at as a, a rapist and somebody that drug men a lot of people think that she should have got charged with these charges and i'm gonna i'm gonna be honest with you niggas that went to jail and, and females that went to jail for this would never ever sleep in peace until something be done about it but that's only one of the things they got her saying that she wish she was dead. The link for this article will be in the description. So, of course, I was doing my research before I can make this video. Now, according to the insider, Cardi B tweeted, wish I was dead, then quickly deleted it after a weekend spent defending herself from a rape and black fishing accusations. So let's dive in and let's find out what's really happening. So fans express worry from cardi b on sunday after the rapper appeared to tweet i wish i was dead then quickly deleted it in screenshots posted to twitter the timestamp for the tweet is 9 18 a.m on sunday but fans say the artist deleted it in seconds so of course and the internet has no chills someone caught it and it was like yo did anyone else just see cardi tweet wish i was dead girl are you okay so this is to show you how much people are obsessed with celebrities their every second your every move is watched so just within seconds somebody caught that so here's that tweet it is unclear what incited cardi b's tweet but it wasn't the only tweet she sent and deleted on sunday having earlier responded to an accusation that she was black fishing one twitter user stated that the rapper wasn't black given that her father is dominican and her mother is trinidad trinidad <laughs> the user first tweeted that we just accept black fishing as a real thing okay got it then in another reply I said hair texture can be manipulated i hashtag in every afro that we saw from cardi was a combed out braid down obviously so <laughs> cardi b responded to the second tweet with a now famous picture from her childhood and the caption was this afro manipulated too oh my goodness <laughs> see she's going too far trying to prove to people that she is black because she she's with all set that will that's haunting her because she know black women would never let her get a pass for being um dominican and trinidad from trinidad well part trinidad and part dominican they're they're basically saying she ain't black let's put it that way so even though the rapper deleted her tweet she left up a response to a fan who replied oh my god i thought she was aretha which cardi b responded to with laughing my ass off so black fishing refers to a person on social media or in real life using a black culture aesthetic aesthetic or black face to appear black and potentially benefit from other people thinking they are black prime example of black fishing was a white instagram model who was who wore dark foundation and claimed to have a natural tan which resulted in black people thinking she was black too and following her along with instagram pages celebrating black women featuring her in cardi b's case the twitter user she responded to was accusing her of having a caribbean heritage but using her black look to claim african-american heritage presumably to profit off african-american solidarity and african-american rap culture the controversy stems in part from different perspectives on what being black means some people of dominican descent argue that their skin color does not determine their race but rather their heritage does one youtuber used this argument to state that calling her black or mixed was incorrect because she is actually dominican regardless of her skin color 
Other people, including Cardi B, argued that their skin color does determine their race regardless of nationality. One fan noted on Twitter that the rapper's skin color likely means she has black ancestry due to the historical context of African slaves being sent to Caribbean islands as well as the U.S. So, this is just getting out of hand. Cardi B responded to accusations of race baiting before, including in a June 26th Instagram live stream when she explained that her Caribbean heritage and light skin appearance didn't invalidate her black identity. It's like Cardi's Latin, she's not black, and it's like, bro, my features don't come from white people, fuck, okay? The artist said during the stream, according to Revolt, and they always want to race bait when it comes to me. I have Afro features, oh, but your parents are light skin, all right, but my grandparents aren't. Cardi B dealt with multiple controversies this weekend that may have incited her tweet. In another Instagram live stream this Friday, she refuted accusations that she raped men while she worked as a stripper before becoming a full-time artist. Earlier this year, video service of Cardi B appearing to admit to drugging and stealing from men who she when she was a stripper. Now the rapper says she never drugged anyone. However, she has admitted she stole for men who were voluntarily under the influence of drugs and alcohol. I don't like when people be trying to call me a rapist. She said during the live stream, Complex reported, I don't like that shit because people try to dig up something and make it something that I didn't do. I never touched nobody. I never fucked nobody. Cardi B continued on to say during the live stream and rape is when you fuck somebody without their consent or without asking. Bitches don't have to put nick shit in niggas drink. These niggas be going to the club, getting drunk and getting high. She continued, I never put shit in drinks. Yeah, I went through niggas' pockets for $40 to catch a cap because a nigga don't want to give you that. Same shit. Was I wrong for that? That's what's wrong. I never fuck, fucking hurt nobody. So, even if you were in their pockets, Cardi B, uh, that's still robbing. It wasn't your money. You took it. But... To get back to the point at hand, Cardi B will continuously go through this because, like I said, she has to deal with the black community. And if you look at it, (laughs) she's not the only one that has done this, people. (laughs) It is straight up, no cap. She, She is just following a trend J Lo used the black culture in the beginning she dressed like a black girl she I, I know the Bronx is the Bronx I got family in the Bronx but come on she she used that that ghetto shit to get her to where she is she was with Diddy and a lot of other black men not just her even Fat Joe Fat Joe act like a nigga I mean there's a lot of people that act like black people rappers especially and they're not black and get rich off of it wake up people she's just following a trend or wave that has been going on since day one why do you want to just all of a sudden since cardi b is at the top she's so high right now like this is the most popular uh female artist today and has been for the last five years so when you're this high uh they're they're gonna try to tear her down by all means necessary and I, I don't know if she can handle it because cardi b has this uh goofy child like mentality like i said you could tell she wasn't the smartest student in the classroom and she seems very gullible which means that she has too many weaknesses and uh at any moment she at any moment she could explode and i'm just saying it, she she better have a good support system around her meaning good friends and families because, you know, at the wrong moment, people overdose because of shit like this. Uh, we've seen it happen with a lot of celebrities. They start overdosing on drugs, committing suicide. Because they can't live up to the expectations of uh, people. And she's always going to see a, a finer, prettier black woman that's going to chase Offset for that bag. And she will be in the middle. Because she's been fighting that already. Offset always been messing around with some black girl. And Cardi B was in the middle sending goons after the girls trying to fight for her dude because she is obsessed apparently with black men she don't want to be with no other race man she loves black men so that's the problem i think black women have with her you know jealousy is something serious as well as uh her past 
she has a lot of demons cardi b have done some shit we only know <laughs> a small percentage of it god knows what else she has done and that's why she probably wants to kill herself because she's done so much dirt and these people won't let her live without bringing it up but let's hope the best for uh overall cardi b is a real down nerve person and hey i only wish nothing but happiness for her like this video leave your comments and subscribe later